Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, this week, as I was promising to do one before we have Creators Update available, we're going to talk about backups, how to do a backup and what you need to do a backup. So, backups, that is probably one of the most difficult things that you can actually tell somebody to do. The majority of people that I know, the majority of clients that I go to never back up and it's something that is not that difficult to do and you don't have to you know it's important to take the time to do it why do we need a backup well you know what people tend to rely on the computers a little too much so they're always oh well you know I'll, I'll back up someday it, it works fine for now until the hard drive crashes and they start crying their life out because of all the pictures they've lost and all the things that you can't replace I've got some stories, you know, over the years of uh, people, just amazing. Uh, one client in the early days when I started doing backups that was actually um, making translations of books. And, uh, you know, first time I actually gone there, I explained to, the, to her that, you know, it was important to do a backup. Now, she had done part of the job. She had bought a hard drive, an external hard drive. But she didn't complete the, um, you know, the, the install. I, she, she kept the hard drive in a box, which is <laughs> not really useful. And, um, you know, she called me up one morning and, uh, hey, computer is in startup, black screen and uh, no boot device. And, uh, you know, I, I, I looked at the computer and said, hey, your hard drive is dead. And it died in a way that I can't really, you know, get anything out of it. And the first thing that she looked at me, she said, well, if I lost my, you know, 500 page manual that I've just finished translating, then I have to, you know, uh, give to the editor Monday morning. And I said, well, yeah. And she showed me the box with the hard drive telling me, well, the intention was there, but I didn't completely do it. So, you know, stories like that, I got tons of them, and um, it's uh, it's sad when you think about it because it's very important, especially for everything that you can't replace, either documents that you work on or pictures that you've taken, you know, that you'll never go back on vacation, for example. Uh, these are souvenirs that are fantastic to keep. So a backup's important. So what does a backup consist of, first of all? Don't do what I see people doing all the time. Oh, oh, yeah, I backed up. I took everything from my computer and put it on a hard drive, external hard drive, or your external USB jump drive. That's not a backup. A backup is minimum two places at once. That means your computer and a external device. Like your computer and the cloud. Even better yet, three places. Your computer, the external devices, and the cloud and sometimes people say well isn't that too much think about it for a second you back up on an external hard drive okay you've got it on your computer you got it on the external hard drive chances that both will break at the same time are relatively small but say that your house goes on fire say that you get stolen you lost your computer and your hard drive that's where cloud backup is cool because it's another way of keeping information that it will be there even though you lose everything. So what types of backup usually? It all depends on what you do. The first thing that I always say is you don't have a lot of things. You know, some of my clients have almost nothing. You know, they don't even have a gigabyte of data to, to actually back up really. Well, for these people, I will often say just get a USB thumb drive and manually transfer once in a while what you have on your hard drive in the regular folders like documents, pictures, uh, stuff like the music. And usually it's more than enough. And that probably is one of the uh, easy forms of doing a backup. It's one of the ways that will probably be okay for a lot of people that have almost nothing on their PCs. And, um, you know, as, as long as you do it from time to time, 
and um, you know update that USB thumb drive with the new stuff. Usually it's quite all right, and for a lot of people this is enough. But it does require you to manually do it from time to time, which is not something uh, that a lot of people tend to do. The uh, second option is, uh, of course, backing up on an external hard drive. Once again, it could be manual if you have just, you know, several gigabytes of data. But on a hard drive, usually I tend to usually say to the people, have it done automatically. And the reason why, if you have a desktop, it's even easier because with a desktop, you can leave the hard drive plugged in all the time and simply back up with the automatic features, either with the third-party software, and I'm going to show you a free third-party software that works well, or with um, existing uh, options in Windows. Windows 7 has a, a backup system. Windows 8 also. Windows 10 has the file history system that is a backup also. These can be done automatically. You don't have to think about it, which is the best backup because you don't have to think about it. You don't have to do the things that will back up. It just does it. On a laptop, it's uh, often a little more difficult because you just have to remember to plug in your hard drive from time to time on a USB ports. Of course, be very careful, external hard drives and USB thumb drives can receive malware. So that's why your computer needs to be top shape, no viruses, no problem. And finally, the third option that I will often talk about is cloud backup. Cloud backup, a lot of people are a little uh, scared of that. Some people say, well, you know, what if they look at my data and stuff like that? But, you know, most of the time, I always tell them, just think about it for a second. What is your data? And, you know, who cares if they would see that data? That's one thing that you need to remember and think about. But apart from that, uh, if it's not a question of data, uh, what you can, of sensitive data, it's also what you can do is, you know, uh, use either OneDrive, which is a free backup system that you can use on your computer. OneDrive is not encrypted, but you know it backs up, and depending on what you have, you can back up a, you know some a, a few gigabytes of data. Now, say you have very important stuff, and you're thinking, yeah, but I got some really really important stuff that needs to be backed up. Well and that needs to be secured also. Well, that is another thing that you have to think about, and that is maybe using a paid system for backup. So for example, Carbonite is an example. What does it do? What does Carbonite have different from, say, OneDrive? Well, Carbonite is a paid system. And of course, paid system means also comes a lot more space for backup if you don't pay. Than, than when you don't pay. And Carbonite also adds encryption. And it's good to a point that they tell you if you lose their password, they have no no way of, of actually getting and retrieving your data. So it's secure because without your password, it's impossible to uh, you know decrypt everything you have there. So it's a big blob of data and they have no idea what's in it. So that's a more secure way. So for business, for example, Carbonite might be a, a good solution if you want to stay on the safe side. Uh, and of course, like I said, it could be a mix of one or two of these options. Usually, um, you know, the best is on your PC, on a support like a hard drive, a USB thumb drive, and on the cloud which means pretty much impossible to lose your data. But at least do it on an external device like a USB thumb drive or a hard drive. So that's pretty much the basics of backup. And remember, taking the stuff off of your PC to put it on the hard drive so you have it only on the hard drive is not a backup. A backup consists of at least two different places that you have your stuff. That's a backup. 
okay? Don't do what I see a lot of people doing, removing it from their PC, putting it on their hard drive, thinking it's safe. I have a lot of people that call me and said, hey, my hard drive fell to the ground and I can't read anymore, or my hard drive suddenly stopped working for some reason and I can't get the stuff off of it. Well, that was not a backup. It was just putting stuff on a hard drive. And hard drives do fail. Thumb drives do fail. So uh, think about it. So that's the basics. And of course, in the following videos this week that I'll post uh, when I have some time, we'll uh, check the different backup options and how to do them from the manual way to the automatic way using third-party software. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. Hope you enjoy this series on backups.